Yeah, so if you just want to look through, it's it's a paper thing. Oh, okay. Is Yeah. Okay. So oh, it was the, um... Let me elder speak. I was in class one day, and yeah. we were reading out of the book, Let Me Elder Speak. Here's part of it, but it's not. It's not the full, but it might be my grandmother's part, actually. I had known that my grandmother was in that book. Um, so we started to read Farming right here. My friend Stacy started to read Red Finkbonner. That's her grandfather. And I thought, well, how cool is that? And then we started to pass it around to a few different other students. And then when it was my turn to read, there's my grandmother right there, Sarah Williams James. I got my grandmother's part. So that's what it says. Okay, I lived on Lummi Island most of my young days because my father worked in a cannery out on the island. That was where I spent a lot of happy days. Our people would gather at... I was just blown away. It wasn't by accident. It was, you know, my grandmother with me um, just relearning our history. My name is Lisa Wilson. My mother was Mabel Wilson and my father was Rusty Wilson. Uh, my grandmother was Sarah James from Lummi and my grandfather was Charles Wilson from Cape Mudge. That sounds better. Thank you. <laughs> When you're passionate about something and then you get around people that are passionate about that too, it's just such a positive thing. And that's what the Northwest Indian College has been for me and I know that it's been for a lot of people. So my name is Rita Oscarson. I'm Yupik Eskimo. I was born and raised um, in my small community of Kotlik. I'm an alum of the Native Environmental Science, which I now teach in program, a Bachelor of Science. The first couple days of Native Science, I say, Native Science is your culture. It's related to our identity, to our ways of being. Indigenous cultures who have traditional ecological knowledge about their places, their waters, their people, there's always an understanding that we have reciprocal relationships with our environments and so for us reciprocity, giving back, taking responsibility, caring for. In non-native environmental science they call some of those things conservation, ecological awareness, but for us it's living and practicing traditional ways of being a native, or for me, being a big Eskimo. I was born in Georgia. My dad was a paratrooper in the Korean War, and when he came back, he was stationed down in Fort Benning in Georgia. And when I was two years old, my dad decided to bring the family up to Lummi, and we ended up on Red River Road, where my grandmother lived. So there was 10 of us that stayed in her house, she had no running water, there was an outhouse, there was just no plumbing in the house. I was a teenage mom. I had my daughter when I was 17 years old. I got married when I was 16 years old. So by the time I was like 24, I had three children. By the time I was 29, I was a single parent. And so I worked for this marine research company, but I was never able to advance because I never had the education behind it. But I did allow me to support my kids while they were growing up. And then I went into the Northwest Indian College and found out about the environmental science program. I really wanted to work for my tribe and work for our fishing rights, um, make sure that we still have fish. You know, I always read about what our ancestors went through and I just know that there's an obligation that's inside me to do work now so that our future generations are going to be able to fish. I've worked in quite a few different departments for Lummi Natural Resources. We are all for conservation, but we are also for, you know, standing up for the treaty rights that, you know, our ancestors fought so hard for. And 
these times with the stocks declining, it's just as important that we have our traditional you know, ecological knowledge than we do have our technical science knowledge. The whole perception is that technical Western science is up here and native science is down here. What the Northwest Indian College does is they take the best of both of those, the biology, the chemistry, but along with that is a lot of traditional ecological knowledge. They bring fishermen in to talk, they bring elders in to talk. They make sure that Western science and native science are parallel. You've got to have the full picture. You can't just have the one side. And it just, I see it all the time. We have different people that work for tribes that are non-tribal, that are so technical that they lose touch of who they're actually even working for. That's when you kind of bring it back to reality of how it affects our people. You know, we've always been able to feed our families off of you know, our resources that we have. And now with those declining, you know, and we have less fishing opportunities that our people are suffering. To be able to take that technical knowledge with our traditional knowledge and it humanizes the science. There's not a lot of people that are out there that are doing what I'm doing, especially women. And so I'm really proud to be, you know, doing this, to be a native woman fighting for our people to make sure that we keep our salmon. There's no other thing that I would ever want to ever be doing. It's, it's who I am.